guys, I know a lot of you have been asking about doing a uh, backing up video. Now, the problem with that is, is uh, running a spread axle uh, when you're loaded and whatnot, backing up is usually flatbedders, and we've made fun of this all the time, uh, is we try to back up in a straight line or we try to find a pull through, uh, but you definitely want to try to avoid backing up at any sharp angles. So what I decided to do instead of a backing up video, I decided I'm going to do this with an empty trailer as uh, after I unloaded here, I knew this place here is a very uh, small yard, there is no drive through and you basically have to either back out onto the road or uh, get turned around in the yard and it just happens that the, there was you know a big space here where you can see me backing into where they didn't have coils where they normally do. So it allowed me the opportunity to do a somewhat of a sharp turn. I'm going to do it twice in this video, so you'll see it twice. This turn isn't quite as sharp. But I want you guys to pay attention to the front axle on the trailer and the way it's reacting as you're turning. Uh, I know it might be a little bit hard to see, so you might have to go into full mode there you know, on your screen to be able to see the axle. And don't worry, I adjust the camera here. Um, I've got it mounted to my mirror, believe it or not, uh, with my two suction cup uh, thing, my doohickey, my bobber. I know these technical terms are going to drive you guys nuts, but you'll you'll eventually catch on. So, right, so if you watch the tire, uh, and we're going very slow, and this is something you want to do because you can do a lot of tire damage. And as you can see, the uh, front axle is just dragging. It's not like a normal tandem where it just follows you around. Uh, with very minimal drag, but on a spread axle like this, you have some severe dragging. And if I were fully loaded right now with 45,000 pounds, you guys would be on holding your heads there thinking that tire and rim was going to pop right off the trailer. It is that severe. And it's no word of a lie, guys. So, that's one of the reasons why I haven't done a backing up video to date. And we're just going to pull up because... Uh, we couldn't make the uh, left-hand turn here, and you can see there's a curb there, and it is somewhat of a sharp, because it's an angled driveway, a sharper turn. I didn't want the tires uh, catching on that curb. There was a lip to it, so I didn't want to do any tearing on the tire. That, and as you can saw, there was a stop sign there and an intersection right there, so it's just much safer and easier just to go down the street and turn around. Now, you guys are going to see me pull into this parking lot and do a sharp turn again. You're going to say, well, why didn't you go down to the end of the street and turn around? Well, again, there's curbs sticking up with sharp edges. And, you know, you want to avoid dragging your tires across these curbs whenever possible. Because you can literally pop a tire right off a rim, bend a rim, whatever. Not as much bending when you're empty because there's no weight pushing down. But you can do more damage doing that than you can uh, anything else. And driving around the block wasn't much of an option here either. It's just because it's an awkward area. So this was just much easier to pull the UV right here. So, you now you guys are going to see this is a much sharper turn. So like again, I want you to pay attention to the two axles, especially the front axle. Because yeah, you're going to see, if you look at the bottom portion of the tire that's closest to the road, uh, you're going to see it bending, if you will, bending. I know that's a kind of a harsh term when you're looking at a tire but it will bend in towards the inside of the trailer. And at the same token, watch the rear tire as it pivots outward. You know, the whole thing, like, neither one of the, the tires ends up following you properly. So the back axle will shift and drag to the left if we're looking at the video, and the front axle just drags to the right here. It's not really turning. And you can, if you're loaded, you know, 40,000 or any kind of load on there, really, you can do some severe damage to the uh, tire. So this is why I haven't done a backing up video for you guys, because really backing up in a straight line isn't going to be very interesting for you. And I just thought I'd share this with any of you guys that are pulling a spread axle. Avoid sharp turns, especially when you're loaded. I mean, if you can't avoid it, like when I'm empty here like I did, that's one thing, but otherwise... Uh, try not to do it. Anyways, have yourselves a, a great day and uh, I hope this was uh, helpful for you. We'll talk to you soon.